안녕하세요. 연세이드 치과 원장 이선규입니다. Hello. I'm Dr. s o n g u l Lee, Yonsei Wood Dental Clinic. It is my pleasure to meet you through this online Austin Master Course. Today, I'm going to talk about implant level impression taking. Implant level impression taking. Impression is taken on the implant level. An implant is placed in the mouth. A pickup type or a transfer type impression coping is connected to the implant. After that, using an open or closed tray, impression is taken and a lab analog, a copy of the implant is inserted. This is the implant level impression taking. Its significance lies in the copying accurately the intraoral situation of a patient. Actually, in the mouth, you can see the gingiva where implant is placed. Pickup or transfer type impression coping is used to take impression, followed by the work on the gum and the gypsum model. The result is like this. A model is made exactly reflecting the oral situation where the implant is placed. Implant level impression, unlike the abutment level impression, On the model made extraorally, various abutments can be selected. Implant level impression components, implant in the mouth, and impression coping. There are two types pickup type or a transfer type tray, open or closed tray. Impression copings, there are two types. Pickup type and the transfer type. I know usually dentists place internal hex type implants. Accordingly, hex type impression copings would be chosen. When impression taking is performed using hex type impression copings, Abutment can be hex or non hex type. On the other hand, if impression taking is performed using a non hex impression copings, there is no way of knowing the angle of implant hex. Therefore, non hex type abutments should be used. Depending on the impression copings, different trays need to be used. For the pickup impression coping, an open type tray should be used. You can make holes like this in a stock plastic tray, or you can fabricate a custom tray, individual tray with holes to take impression. For the transfer impression copings, a closed tray, a metal tray like this, or a stock plastic tray can be used. To take impression in a closed manner like this. Advantages and disadvantages of implant level impression. Advantage even though an implant is placed with an angulation, impression can be taken without restrictions. Next, an abutment is chosen extra orally on the model. There is no restrictions in choosing prosthetic types. And there is a wider range of abutment choices. So, more complete prosthesis can be made for multi implant cases. For a single implant cases, it doesn't really matter whether it is implant or abutment level impression. Disadvantage unlike the abutment level impression. This impression is taken at the implant level. Unlike the abutment level, impression is taken at the implant level. Gypsum is poured over impression copy. On the model, abutment and the prosthesis are fabricated, so prosthesis may not fit very well when impression copy is not properly connected in the mouth. Impression taking errors can occur. Advantages When implants are placed not in parallel, there is no need to choose abutments in the mouth. So, after taking implant level impression, 
On the model, extraordinarily, abutments can be selected. That's the advantage. How implants are placed doesn't pose any restrictions. Thus, no restrictions in choosing prosthetic types. As we are dealing with the gypsum model extraordinarily, the direction of implant hole can be checked. And we can choose a cement type, screw type, or an ER type of ostom when it comes to prosthetic types extraordinarily. So there's no restrictions in choosing prosthetics. Apartments are fabricated with the gypsum model extraordinarily, giving wider choice of abutments except the solid type of abutments which are connected in the mouth for impression taking. Two-piece abutments or UCLA type abutments can be selected. I talked about the completeness of prosthetics that is for multiple implant cases. Extraordinarily, on the gypsum model, angulated abutments or straight abutments can be connected before fabricating prosthesis. Thus, prosthetic completeness can be higher as there is no need to select abutments in the mouth. Disadvantages, impression coping, whether pickup or transfer types, when they are not properly connected, impression taking can go wrong. Second, because of that, abutments can not be properly connected on the model, leading to errors in the fabricated crown, so the errors will propagate. Even if impression is properly taken, prosthesis is fabricated with abutment put on the model. When they are connected on the model, there is a risk of lower occlusion depending on whether it is connected with 30 Newton centimeters or just by hand. An example, an impression coping is not properly connected. It was properly fabricated on the model, but in the mouth, it is displaced. This is the correct direction, but it is in the wrong direction. So the hex position is displaced. Or this is a frequent impression mistakes with a transfer type. For the transfer type impression, impression coping is inserted into the impression again. When it is inserted, not in sufficient depth, on the actual gypsum model, the implant can be mistaken to be in deep position. When an implant is placed deeply, the distance to the gingiva would become long. Based on this, abutments are fabricated and delivered, exposing the abutment margins. There are two types of implant level impression, pickup type, the pickup impression coping type looks like this, and this open tray should be used. This is an example. In the mouth, the pickup type impression copings are connected. You could use a stock plastic tray or individual tray. However, they need to have holes. After impression taking, these are loosened and the impression material is detached. You can see the pickup type impression copings are included in the impression. Pickup type impression. There's a hex type and non hex type. And there's a short one and long one. When implant is placed below gingival level, long one should be used, and if the placement is in ideal depth, short one can be used. Short or long, if the plastic tray is thick, the pin sticking out of this impression coping is not high enough, the open tray will not work. 
then the long pin should be used. Advantages of the pickup type, accurate impression taking, the impression copy connected in the mouth is stuck in the impression, so there is a low risk of deformation. Disadvantage, only open tray must be used. So for patients with a limited mouth opening, for posterior number seven, this cannot be readily used. In a multiple implant case with different implant paths, impression taking can be challenging. Advantages, this part is cut in the impression lowering the possibility of errors, that's an advantage. However, disadvantage for patients with a limited mouth opening, the pickup type cannot be used because over the pin, hex driver also needs to be connected. There is a limited space, so the pickup type will not be used. In that case, you can switch to the transfer type with closed tray. In a multiple case, when implants are in parallel, it will be okay, but if they are angulated, the hex parts, when impression is taken out, they can get cut in there, so pickup type cannot be used. Contraindication of pickup impression. A disadvantage, the posterior region with limited mouth opening. For a multiple case when implant paths are not good, the transfer type would be better. Second, transfer type impression. Impression is taken using the transfer impression coping with the closed tray. So, actually, in the mouth, the closed tray, when impression material is removed, the forms remain, so transfer impression copings need to be inserted in there. When impression material is removed, the existing impression coping shape is recorded here, and this coping should be removed from the mouth and inserted in here. The transfer impression coping is just like pickup type. There are hex and non-hex types, short and long versions. A short or long one can be chosen depending on whether this part can be cut in the closed tray in the mouth. As I said before, disadvantage of pickup type when implants have different paths, transfer type can be more beneficial in terms of impression taking. Disadvantage of transfer type. In the mouth, when impression coping is connected, pickup type has this part which can be held by a hand. The transfer type has no such part where you can hold it, so it is not easy to connect it in the mouth. The second disadvantage, unlike the pickup type, this part should be removed from the mouth and inserted in the impression. At least this portion should be inserted in the impression stably but with a wrong selection of a transfer impression coping, this portion only is inserted in the impression, not full connection. Then when gypsum is poured over it, the position can be displaced. Like this, the transfer type in the impression, this one needs to be inserted. When it is inserted, if it is inserted too shallow, actually, implant is mistakenly considered to be placed deep, and when abutment is fabricated, there is a risk that the abutment would have supramargin. 
Screw-type prosthesis. Prosthesis requires accurate impression taking. If transfer type is used, impression taking can have more errors for the screw type. The pickup type is recommended over the transfer type. As I said before, in a multiple implant case, when implants have different angulations, the pickup type can be more accurate in terms of fabricating the final prosthesis all at once, and the transfer type would have some errors if used up to the final prosthesis. Digital impression. Digital impression also has an abutment level and implant level impression taking. For digital impression taking, at the implant level, scan bodies are required. There are two types of scan bodies provided by Austin. One is normal oral scan body, and the other one is scale healing abutment, combining healing abutment and oral scan body. These two can be used for digital impression taking. Scan bodies. There are scan bodies used in a mouth and scan bodies used for model. So in the mouth of a patient, we need to use this for scanning. Scan bodies, there are long type and short type, mini and regular types. For 100% of implant prosthesis, I use a digital impression taking and I only have a long type. The short one is hard to connect when an implant is placed deep, so I only use the long one. A skin body is selected and inserted for scanning. Later in a CAD program, the scan body and the library in the CAD program need to be merged. Based on this, so this portion needs to be merged, and that portion only should be exposed above gum. Scan healing abutment. Healing abutment is combined with a scan body. Generally, after the first or second surgery, instead of normal healing abutment, this can be used for scanning. This is the one. A normal healing abutment is combined with a scan body. A scan healing abutment. Only this top area is used for merging. So that area only needs to be above gum. This portion of an oral scan body is exposed, but a much less portion of the scan healing abutment needs to be exposed for merging in a CAT program. Unlike general healing abutments, scan healing abutments require a carrier like this. Different scan healing abutments have different shapes. Merging will be made based on just this part. So a healing abutment needs to be chosen only with this part exposed above gum. Compared to an analog method, digital has many advantages. First, the impression materials are not needed. You can keep your clinic clean. Second, there is no need to pour stone. In most cases, really in most cases, impression taking can be done very easily. When implant placement angle is not very good or mouth opening is limited, digital impression can be taken very easily. But analog method requires impression materials and gypsum. They cost money. Depending on oral situation, for those with mouth opening limitations, a pickup type cannot be used, so it all depends on a specific oral situation. This is the 
digital workflow, scan body or scan healing abutment is connected and carrier is prepared, scan body, this portion of the scan body should be exposed and this part of scan healing abutment needs to be exposed and after scanning the skin data is matched with a library in a CAD program without gypsum model, abutment and uh, final prosthesis can be fabricated like this, which is an advantage. When you connect a scan body, there is the reduced part, which is called a deep cut, and on the maxilla, it should be palatally positioned and uh, lingually positioned for mandible. Skin bodies also may have connection errors because it is the connection between hexes. Just like the impression copings for normal pickup or transfer types, hexes need to be aligned. Otherwise, it can lead to errors in the prosthesis. Lastly, let me compare pickup type versus transfer type impressions. For the pickup type, the number of connections is two, once intraorally and once extraorally. For the transfer type, the number of connection is three, in the mouth, outside the mouth, and on the model. Impression precision is higher with the pickup type over the transfer type. But to be honest, it is easier to take impressions with the transfer type. In this online course, I briefly talked about implant level impressions. In the offline master course, more detailed implant level impressions would be explained through hands-on accurate implant level impressions will be explained. Thank you for your attention.